You're on. Okay. The FAA, in its wisdom here about oh, 15 or so years ago, decided to give awards to um, persons who held pilot certificates and maintenance mechanical mechanic certificates. The pilot certificate is named after the Wright Brothers, and it's called the Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award. And uh, for the mechanics, we have a, uh, uh, the Charles Taylor Award. And to qualify for these awards, you have to, uh, uh, for the pilot award, you have to have 50 hours of uh, flying. They are uh, no violations and uh, predominantly accident free. It's uh, when they first came out, they, said they had they said accident free. Well, there are some times when an accident can happen and it's not your fault. If you put the landing gear down and only two of the three come down and you damage it, it's not your fault. But if you forget to put them down, it's your fault. Different story. So, uh, and Ted, of course, qualifies more than 50 years of uh, accident free and uh, violation free award. So, want to present this to you, the Wright Brothers Award. Thank you very much. And thank you. Yo! Thank you, thank you. Any comments from Ted Harp? Well, I, I thank you all you guys for being here. While you were talking about that, I remember when I was working for the Air Flying Service in Baton Rouge. I could, maybe I lied about the accident, but I did, I did crack the windshield out of a 140 one time. I was pushing them in and out and oil them and gas them, and I was pushing one in the hangar one night, and I spun the wing around and spun a 140 around and poked the wing through the windshield of a United Gas, the guy that flies the pipelines, yeah. to... Uh, a, a, yeah, lost him. Your father was a real prince about that. He, he didn't even show you out. My buddy didn't fire me. <laughs> another Thank award, you. another award that comes with this or presentation is a tie tack with the uh, uh, master pilot award okay. and a um, another tack. It's a lapel pin, but it could go to Mrs. And it does. And okay. Very good. And Barbara's wearing mine. The FAA also has a uh, certificated uh, true copy of all his applications throughout his aviation career. And they are certified true copy with the blue ribbon here. So it's kind of uh, quite a bit. Look at that student pilot, uh, temporary pilot certificates. Flight engineer, turboprop, turbo propeller powered, Lockheed Electro L188, mm -hmm. and so on. But quite a few. Yeah. Temporary student pilot certificate, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Passenger carrying prohibited <laughs> student. <laughs> but anyhow, this is all part of the package. So uh, it's uh, it's a prestigious award because I. I've seen lists of uh, persons who've gotten it, and uh, it's not very large. I don't know, we may have just maybe a couple thousand in the United States over the years that have qualified for this Master Pilot Award. Again, thank thank you for us. thanks for being here, guys. What's thank your you. number, Ted? There's a number on there. There's a number? What is my number? Uh, I think there's a number. Uh, I don't see it on there. Maybe, Maybe on. I'm drinking. I thought mine had a number on it. No, I don't <coughs> see it there. Well, you got a lot of stuff. You can yeah. Bring back some memories. It'll be, uh, I don't know if it'll be my, in my Navy days in here too? I don't think so. It's just FAA uh, days. Oh. Unless you presented something from the Navy. <coughs> I told them what I did. The Navy has log books, so uh, I think they still do. I know the Navy had yeah, log imagine, books. Imagine they do. Very good. The Air Force. 272496, that was my flight engineer number one. Thank you very much, guys. Let's go back and have a piece okay. of cake and some coffee. What did you find here?